Okay, so today we're making strawberry shortcake cupcakes. So, what you'll need is two cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of sugar, two eggs, half a cup of oil, one cup of milk, and some vanilla, and of course strawberries and whipped cream. So what you need to do is put your two cups of flour in the bowl and your baking powder. Okay, so now add your salt and your sugar. Okay, so that's it for your dry ingredients. In the same bowl, you're gonna add your eggs, your oil, and you're gonna mix that up. So, So it's mixed okay. There's still some flour here and there. Gonna add your milk. And you're gonna continue mixing. Okay, so you can also use a hand mixer, but I'm just gonna use my hands because I don't have any of those. Just like an actual hand mixer. Okay, so now it should be pretty, pretty done. Like mix some you know, do your vanilla. I don't really measure it, so if you measure it, um, it a uh, teaspoon of vanilla. But I'm just gonna do some in the lid. And then you're done. Okay, since it's cupcakes, I make cupcake tins. It's actually a recipe for cake. So if there's any leftover batter, I'm just gonna make it to cakes. But you can just do cake or just cupcakes. So gonna fill this up. with like I don't know what that is like some type of dough or batter like it looks like banana bread batter I you can see oh oh I'm making it work nope that's not happening okay so I finally got it done with so you're gonna take your mix Okay, and you're going to fill them up maybe halfway because it does rise a lot. So, Okay, by the looks of thing, it looks like there won't be any batter left, so I'm gonna just fill the rest up.
done. So you're gonna set the oven at 350 Fahrenheit and you're gonna put them in the bake for 25 minutes. Okay, so you have your whipped cream um, and your strawberries. So you're gonna have to figure out how to open that. Ooh. I that. Ah! There. All done. It's a whippy. Yum, like whippy cream. Yum, yum. Okay, now for the strawberries. So you're gonna get your strawberries. Grab some, put them in your bowl. That one, that one, oops, that one, that one. Okay, so now it's to take the tops from the berry. It's so gonna take your thing, put your knife. Okay, so I did it to all of them. Just gonna get rid of these. Okay, and just cut these Go like that. I think this looks really pretty on my plate. Like, cause my plate has flowers. Just add a nice whipped cream and it will be the best. So, it's gonna have whipped cream on it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, they're ready. Um, they're good. This one, probably was like more out of the heat because it's not as brown as the back ones. Oh, I'm surprised that it burned like black. Okay, so we're ready. It came out of the oven fine. So it's time to ice. Well, ice like whip. I'm watching you like Um. Oh, there. I'm not gonna put a lot, but it's just gonna be like. Okay, so we're gonna do it. every other one.
everything's iced. So we're going to add our strawberries. So we have fruit flies, so I have to cover it with some right now. Oop. Okay, why does this keep happening to me? So I'm going to just make it pretty. That's not pretty enough. They're still hot, so it's gonna just slide up in the fridge for a little minute or two. Um, I just want to try on without whipped cream, so I say no for me. <laughs> that one. People that oops don't want whipped cream I'll have to stand it. for about 20 minutes or something. I think I put them in a little too long. So pretty. Well, it's a storm with the icing. I think it looks good with the red ones. Because the strawberry ones a look. This one was overflow, so I think that's what's like oh trippy on camera. So this one's my favorite. Then on the black, this one's a little weird. I think it really looks. I think it really looks. 